because in the European Parliament I must speak loudly to be here, heard, of course. Uh, of course, uh, Professor Hoppe was kind enough to invite me here, and perhaps you expect that I'll take some jokes about the carrots, uh, bananas, and uh, other, other things that were very popular in this insane asylum, as it is in the title of my speech. Uh, but, well, I've got uh, yesterday from European Union a really extraordinary letter, but I don't have time to read it now. Perhaps during the discussion I read it if somebody does ask me. Uh, but I begin with the known uh, words, uh, I'm sure everybody knows them. Uh, this be madness, yet there is method in it. And uh, I'll try very seriously about uh, European Union, because there is method in it. European Union is, um, uh, is, is consisted from the three different levels, three different layers. On the bottom of all it, there are men who, and women, of course, uh, who, are, who are earning very, very big money for doing nothing, in fact. They are pretending they are doing something very important. They have amendments to amendments. Uh, there are resolutions because nobody is reading them. Uh, and uh, they are not only members of parliament, they are commissars who have a much greater amount of money. And this is very, very, very important that they, these men are being bright off. They are announcing to everybody that the European Union is very, very important and serious, serious matter. And, uh, of course, they are hired, they are uh, highly paid for this. The second layer, there are people who really earn real money from doing something. Uh, for example, uh, they are fighting with global warming, uh, producing such a windmills or something different ways, they are accepting bribes for the <laughs> for this windmills and so on. Uh, you know, every socialist uh, institution cannot live without, without fighting with somebody. Uh, communist system and Soviet Union system lived from fighting with uh, American imperialism. They are living for fighting the global warming. Uh, they must fight, fight, fight with something. But, um, well, it is very important because these men are earning big money. Uh, European Union spent two and a half billion in... Uh, in uh, conservative sense, uh, money to fighting global warming. If the bribes are 5%, so you can understand how much money can they get from fighting the global warming. It's a real big money. Real big money. And of course, there are other, other activities, uh, also profitable, but not so profitable as fighting global warming. And on the top, of this, of this ladder, there is a group of uh, uh, men and women uh, who, uh, who are leading this, uh, this institution. This institution was conceived uh, 60 years ago as a free market institution. Uh, in the beginning, it was a free market for steel and, uh, and, and coal. Uh, then it was being changed, changed into the European uh, Comitate European Economic, Economic uh, Committee European. But we are now in the 60s and 70s. In the 60s, there were a uh, wage of terrorism in uh, West Europe, much, much greater than the present, present ter Muslim terrorism. And this uh, terrorism was uh, led by Rote Arme Fraction, uh, Brigate Rosse in Italy, they even had snatched uh, Prime Minister Aldo Moro, murdered him. Uh, the wave of terror was really, really big, and uh, they were even thinking that, that they will win, that the left will win. They will take the power. Unfortunately, <laughs> they, they hadn't. Uh, they had been put in jail. And then Rudi Dutschke, remember this name, it was a guru of the German left, but not only German left, Rudi Dutschke, D-U-T-C-H-C-H-K-E, Dutschke, uh, gave you a comment, stop these childish games. Stop throwing stones as a police. Inscribe, 
for, for policemen. Stop fighting the capitalist European uh, community, inscribed as a functionary of the European community. Stop fighting the oppressive state, inscribed the, as the officials of the state. We are beginning the long march, as Mao Zedong uh, said, long march, long march through the institutions. And after 30 years, they have won. They have won. Now they are dominating, not quite, but dominating the European Union. They change the European community, from the European community into the European Union. It was more, more, more centralized institution, which is absolutely not a free market institution. They are, their plan now to turn European Union into a kind of uh, uh, Soviet uh, no, Union of uh, Soviet Socialist uh, Europe, European Republic. It is planned by a group, which is called a group of Altiero Spinelli. Every day I am entering uh, the building of European Union, I am passing through the, uh, the inscription of the Altiero Spinelli building. Altiero Spinelli was a communist, and uh, Two months ago, Mrs. Angela Merkel, uh, Mr. Renzi, and uh, uh, Hollande, Monsieur Hollande, oh, it must be more than one, two months, four months perhaps, they go to the uh, island of Ventotene to put the flowers and the monument of Altiero Spinelli. He was a communist, author of the plan how to transform Europe into a communist communist state. And those group, it's a complot of course, they are realizing the plan of Altiero Spinelli to build a communist Europe. Every day I was fighting with communists all my life and now every day I must pass on the figure of Altiero Spinelli which is proudly standing in the vestibule of the European Parliament, the communists. And, uh, there is nothing to be, to be laughed at. On the, this local level, you can laugh, but we shall not laugh at the end of all of this. This, uh, in the uh, previous uh, uh, cadence of the, of the parliament, the Mr. Van Rumpy was a Belgian communist. By the way, Belgian Communist Party is to the left of the old communist parties, even Mao Zedong is, uh, is not proper communist for the Belgian communists. Uh, Mr. Barroso was a Maoist. The foreign minister is a Baroness, which is a member of British Communist Party, Baroness Ashton. Uh, from Czechoslovakia, it was Czech, but it was a Fiule, fantastic speaker absolvent of the Moscow University of Foreign Affairs, a co member of, of Czechish Communist Party, of Czech and Moravia, of Bohemia and Moravia Communist Party. The majority of the commissaries were of the communist origin. Now in this deal it is uh, somewhat, somewhat changed, but, uh, but still they have, uh, the, because they are organized in a, in, as a group, it's called the group of Artero Spinelli. By the way, uh, a, a very strange thing, in this group of Altero Spinelli in the European Parliament, from Poland, there are only four members and all four are women. <laughs> and no, no man is in the group of Altero Spinelli. Uh, some of the women are not very important, in fact, uh, but uh, they are. We, we, have, we have a representative in the group of Altero Spinelli who is trying to, uh, to lead the European Parliament, but uh, it is not the most important group to lead it. They are, uh, uh, there are men, and we have not listed all this group. They are doing, doing what they are doing in the clandestine method, secret method. And uh, what uh, uh, we should do, we should demonstrate to the world what is really done in the uh, European Union, not the European Parliament, because uh, as I told you in, in the beginning, European Parliament is absolutely unimportant. 
the resolution of European Parliament are, are not uh, regarded as, a, as an important document, of course. Of course, uh, the, the members of the European Parliament think this is so, but, but in fact, it is absolutely unimportant. Absolutely unimportant because the European Union doesn't have an army. To lead a real foreign politics, you must have army. Just imagine the situation that uh, all the states of the United States, uh, like Alabama, and, uh, have armies, and the Federation United, uh, Uni uh, Union don't have any army. In such a situation. The Union is a state. Uh, all the previous states' uh, powers uh, are not independent now. The Union law has priority over the law of, of the member, member countries. So, of course, they are not sovereign. Sovereign is, sovereign is in the Union. The Treaty of Lisbon transferred. It was very important. They were, this, this, this group was uh, plotters, yeah? they were pretending that we already are in, in, in the European Union. But it was not true. The European Union emerged only after signing the Treaty of Lisbon. Because in the Treaty of Maastricht, the powers declared the will to create the European Union, but they didn't create it. It was created by signing the Lisbon Treaty. In this very moment, all the states, even, even Germany, even Germany, uh, has lost its sovereignty, and the law of European Union is prevailing when it is contrary to the, to the law of, of the states. Those states don't accept it, in fact. A uh, great portion of the politicians in Poland, in Germany, in, in the other countries, they don't accept the fact that they are not sovereign. Uh, it was the Polish uh, party now ruling and is trying to be anti-unionist, but it is this party who signed the Treaty of Lisbon. They didn't know what they are signing. Uh, when we are treating the accession treaty, uh, 16 years ago or something like that, uh, Mr. Donald Tusk, who was the Prime Minister of Poland, had act of legit that he signed it without reading it. And I am absolutely sure that the Mr. Kaczynski and the men from the now leading party in Poland also didn't read the, the Lisbon Treaty. It is uh, incredible. But it's fact. The trees are so long that nobody, nobody can read through them. And uh, only afterwards, they know what they have signed, in fact. Now, those, uh, those group want to create a union of uh, European socialist republics. And now I, can, I, I will tell you something about the Brexit. Those group tried to make this union, but the uh, United Kingdom was always against to have a more, more strong uh, relations, and, and Poland and other countries supported the uh, United Kingdom, so they wanted the Brexit. Those group consist of Luxembourg, Belgium, Germany, and France, uh, Holland, and uh, Spain, perhaps. But these three countries, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany, are most pro-unionist. Pro pro -unionist. And what they have done to get rid of the uh, of, uh, United Kingdom? Two weeks before the referendum, they announced it, which is absolutely false, that all the Turks will get free visas to the European Union. The result was that before the, the, the polls were against, against Brexit, two days after this announcement, the uh, polls were the other way around, and, and the Brexit won in Great Britain. And the next day after the referendum, those six countries met in Berlin, and two weeks afterwards in Prague, I think, two weeks, I don't know, to plan how to make now a, a union of the European Socialist Republics. How to exploit the situation, 
to jump to the, to the opportunity and create it. It was stopped by the uh, four countries uh, from so-called Visegrad group. It is Poland, Hungary, uh, Czech, Bohemia, and Moravia, and, uh, uh, and Slovakia. Those four countries, we support some other countries, uh, tacit, tacit, tacit support, blocked this initiative. So we now are in the, this situation. And I must tell now something very important. Those people from who are leading European Union, and not only European Union, they are using the uh, language which is absolutely real. And they are telling, usually, we are fight for the European values. Well, now, the European values are quite contrary to the values of European Union. In Europe, the murderers should be hanged. In European Union, death penalty is forbidden. In uh, Europe, it was a principle that who doesn't work doesn't eat. In European Union, who doesn't work gets money for, to have something to eat. In the Europe, the children belong to their parents. In European Union, the children belong to the state. In Europe, the boys should be aggressive to fight. In Union, in Union, the boys must be taught that they cannot be aggressive, especially boys. In uh, Europe, women had privileges. In uh, European Union, they have so-called equal rights. And so on and so on. They are just contrary to the European values. And when the European values do dominated, we Europeans, we dominated of the world. We colonized all the world because our values were the best. How do I know that they are the best? Because we ruled all the world. If the values of the Algonquins, it is the Algonquins who could, could ruled the world, discovered Europe, and so on, and so on. And, so on. and as the values of Euro European Union are exactly opposite to the European values, and the Europeans were the best, so values of European Union must be the worst. And now we are colonized by the Negroes, Arabs, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yeah? Uh, usually, I was told that uh, the Europeans were selling, selling uh, percals to the, to the Negroes, and now there, I've been on the beaches in, in Italy, there are the Negroes who come and sell percals to us. <laughs> it is uh, uh, exactly opposite situation. And, uh, well, why, why it was done by, uh, by those people who, who, rule, who rule European Union? They are, in fact, very stupid. They are intellectuals, but they are very stupid because their principles are wrong. Are wrong. And they have forgotten what they, why they don't want uh, us, uh, us to, have, to bear the arms. Why, don't, why they, they don't want, want men to be aggressive? Because the system of European Union is a slavery system. And slaves should not be aggressive because they are afraid of the revolt of the slaves. What is the principal difference between slave and a free man? That the slave is not allowed to bear weapons. That's why the European Union is now working how to take the rest of the weapons from the hands of the slaves. Of course, of course, if, if, if a slave uh, family has children, it is their, their patron who decides what the child is being taught because the child belongs to him. It is a slavery state. Even very great, 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 uh, great feature of, uh, of this. A free man had to think about his future how to collect money for his senility. Slave doesn't have to. His patron was obliged to feed him up to his last day. And now European Union, we have the pension system, the slavery system. We don't have to think about, uh, about our future. Our patron is obliged to feed us to the end of our days. 
So we are building in Europe a slavery system. This is very important. Very important. The Europe, Europeans who discovered all the world, who conquered all the world, they're free men. Columbus was not obliged to go to the America. He wanted to go to America. Now we are obliged to do something. What is the, the effects of it? Of course, everybody knows, I, I, I cannot, <laughs> I must not uh, 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 explain here, that slavery system is economically not effective and the European Union economically is not effective. The France, so-called development of France is minus two points. France is the most socialist uh, country of, from the European Union. The Poland is the best one because thanks to efforts of such a man like me, the Poles are, are usually pro, pro, profit marketer, but it is plus 3% and it is great achievement. Belarus, white Russia has 3%. <laughs> there is not an achievement. It is tragedy. It is tragedy. And it is the effect of the slavery system. Because slaves don't want to have children. Why do I, should I have children? I even cannot clap my, my children because I can go, uh, go to jail for that. It's not my children. It's not my, my, my child. Not my child. I am punished because I have harmed a state own, uh, ownership. As a, as something which owes to, to the state. By the state, sorry. So, so uh, we don't have to, uh, don't want to have children. We don't must to have children because a free man had to have children. Plenty of children because uh, when he was old, the children would sustain him. Now, it is, it, 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 it is it's not, not necessary. I have a pension. My patron, my owner, must give me food and vaccination. So I don't have to change. When you ask why in Europe the children are not being born, it is because of the pension system. I don't have money for bearing children because I must pay my, my pension. Uh, no. yeah? And I don't need the children in my, in, in my seniority because, because I, I, have, I have pension. It is the pension system which is killing, killing Europe. I have also only one, uh, one uh, fragment of the, of the socialist system, of the slavery system, eh, as, as I have already done. But of course, you, you know the classic word of Hayek, the road to serfdom. Now we are at the end of the road to serfdom. We achieved the state of serfdom, and they are trying to deepen it to make it more, more, uh, more slavery. Fortunately enough, they are Muslims. As I told, as I told, uh, the values of European were the best. Europe, uh, values of European Union are the worst. But the values of Muslims are in the middle of the way. If the Europe would be freed from the occupation of European Union, because it's occupation, a good Russian hated Soviet Union, a good German hated Third Reich, and good European must hate European Union, who turn the proud Europeans into this mass of slaves. I hate European Union, I have good European. Yeah. And if the occupation of the European Union will be the occupation by Muslims, it will be very profitable for Europe. There will be no VAT tax, which is contrary to, to, to Koran. There will be no property tax, uh, property will be the t income tax, which is contrary to Koran. There, there will be no uh, buy and sell tax, which is contrary to Koran. The murderers will be hanged. There will be no, no demonstration of queers on the streets. So, a kind of normality returns. <laughs> it will. We are, now, we are now living in the barbarians, in the barbarian states. The law doesn't work. The law doesn't work. The law is so uh, 
so mixed up then that nobody understands which laws now, now dominate in the European Union. Especially some way, because if the uh, law is not, not precise, you can do anything you want. So it will uh, return normality. It, it, is, it, it is tragic to say, but the Muslim system is better than European Union. So we are waiting for the barbarians to come. It is a title of the book of, of Coelho, I think. Yeah? And we are waiting for them. Because in this system, cannot be overturned inside, because everyone has uh, uh, interest to keep the system. Because, as Alexis de Tocqueville said, the Republic will survive until the rulers will discover that they can bribe out the people by their own money. So they are taking uh, money from the people, they are giving them, and of course, uh, people don't see this, this small, small amounts uh, taken from the every day, and then they are giving them, now in Poland, in Poland, they are giving to every child 500 zlotys, or nothing, just. Oh. And, uh, and they have good support among the people. There are much more stupid, stupid people than, uh, than the wise ones, so you cannot overturn democracy such less. The majority wants this system. Majority is stupid. Of course, there are different tyrants, uh, Stalin, Hitler, majority, and so on, but, uh, but you can co convince Stalin. You cannot convince majority. Because to, be, to, because to become dictator like Stalin, you must have some talents. Majority don't have any talents. It must have so, so it is much better much easier to, to convince Stalin than to convince majority. <laughs> so in fact, in fact, we have no chance. We must just wait for those, for those barbarians to come and uh, uh, liberate us from the occupation of the European Union. Thank you very much. <laughs>